Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Ape Escape. I'm right, we are still in New Freeze Land, which is no different than Old Freeze Land, not that I would know from experience. So let's do Frosty Retreat. Look what I've got, a new gadget. Check it out. Here's the Skyflyer. It'll take you to high places. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Alright, step number one. Don't fly too close to the sun. I'm going for it. Use the Sky Flyer to get higher than a jump will get you. <laughs> they could not phrase that any differently. It's a great invention! You'll fly high in the sky by rotating the right stick. Rotate while flying to jump a longer distance. Okay, I can get down with this. Yep, and it works in mid-air too. Beautiful. Oh? What was that about using the sky flyer to jump long distances? Well, you can fly farther away by rotating it continuously in the air. While flying, guide yourself the left stick. Practice using both sticks. Also, the Sky Flyer can be used while jumping. Yeah, I know. I, I, I did that already. Yep, and you can even do it during a double jump. Oh! Why did I let go? Wait. Okay, you can't do a jump after Sky Flying. Okay, that's not gonna work. What? Okay, that was weird. Right, guys, I was like gliding to a wall. You don't have to rotate very fast, by the way, which is good. Excellent flying! Oh, yeah, let me tell you a trick. When the Sky Flyer is turning, you can fly longer by rotating the right stick. That'll keep you going longer! Ellipsis. Exactly! Why would you write an ellipsis down? I mean, unless you were trying to convey literature, that doesn't really apply to helping me with this task. Okay, so this is where it gets a little annoying, because now that you have more gadgets that are useful, now you're going to find yourself switching gadgets a lot more often. Okay, I should keep this equipped so I can shoot at them. I don't want them in the way when I'm trying to fly across. There we go. Uh, let's get the, um, the Sky Flyer equipped right here, I guess. Okay, there wasn't even a bottomless pit there, so I was fine. Oh, hello. Okay, why did the music slow down? What's what's going on? What is that all about? Okay, this guy is actually a little bit shy. Maybe I should give him some space. Or, you know, just hit him. That works too. I didn't even look at my requirements for this stage. Six monkeys. Alright. I don't even know how many Spectre Coins there are. So I guess we'll find out together. That is if we can actually grab more than one. Okay, they're lucky I can't just smash that with the club. Okay, this looks dangerous. Ow. Oh, come on. Oh, I can get him right there. Wait, what are they trying to do? I think they got one there on, on duty. And that other monkey didn't even react. 
What the hell was that all about? D Dude, I'm still here! <laughs> I caught two of them without even leaving the room. Wow. What a bunch of jokers. There we go. That's our Spectre coin. I don't know if that's the only one in the stage. But I guess uh, that's still a good start through th this level. So now where else do I... Oh, that guy's still there. I think we need to fix that. Also, where the hell am I going? I don't think I can get up there, can I? No, I cannot. Oh wait, I think I know where. I think I gotta climb up that mountain. So let's go do that now. I'd rather not take any unnecessary risks if I can avoid it. Looks like we're gonna have to go in the cave. So let's go do that then. The Skyflyer will actually help me get that other monkey in the first level, I think. Because wasn't there one high up in the sky and I couldn't reach it? You know, by pressing the select button, you can go directly to the gadget select screen. Why are you telling me this again? Don't I already know? I didn't know that. Wait a minute. Did you program that without my permission? You damn skimpy she did. She has rebelled against you, just as Spectre did. We'll soon have to defeat her. She knows too much. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. We could go this way, too. Just to get that. Okay, that was a waste of time. Wait, do you not slide off? Huh. I thought I had to jump to get up there. Oh, wait a minute. Ha! Oh, oh, okay. Well, you certainly showed me. Oh, now he's... Okay, where are you going off to? Is he going on the water? Lame. Lame! Oh, you fart. Wait, how do I use the net? I'm trying to use the net. Didn't I have a net on this? It's not there. I forgot what button it is to fire the net when you're in the water. Wait, did that monkey just go back to the default position? Like, if you're already here, why even bother? Oh, you got headshot. Okay, I got him. Oh, you ass! That was the, the epitome of a cheap shot. Oh my god, I'm, I'm about to die. This is not good. Okay, why can't I just get up there? Did I get stuck on something? Okay, let me see if I can pick them off the sling sh slingback shooter. So I don't think it's, now is the time to fight fair. Whoa! Okay. Okay, okay. This is not cool. Okay, can you drop some health for me, please? Yes! Okay. Crisis averted. Now I know where I need to go. What the hell was that? I locked down and you went that way? What are you doing? There. Get wrecked. Give me my cookies. C is for cookie. 
it's good enough for me. Though I want more. More cookies! Okay, so here's a hazard here. Those icicles will start to poke out. Ah, ah, oh, that could have got me right there. Look at the rolling physics on that snowball. What up with that? That looks jagged AF. Oh, okay. At least I don't have to switch the hula hoop for this one. Although I wouldn't be surprised if I run into an obstacle like this and I will have to use it. I hear meandering about. Is there a monkey nearby? No way, that's probably the water dripping from the icicles. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I do see a monkey over there. God, these look like something out of Monster Rancher. Look at them. Come on. Wake up, wake up, wake up. What? Excuse me? I'm too far away. God damn it. No way, I think it was this guy. That's not a monkey. I was getting my hopes up over nothing. Damn, how dare you. Wanted a monkey, damn it! Well, it's a better get than like that girl that wanted the hippopotamus for Christmas. Like, what kind of family did she have that apparently asking for a hippopotamus was reasonable? Got a bunch of poachers in your family? What the hell? Something cute about that. And plus a hippopotamus, how would you be able to maintain that in that kind of ecosystem? Just a thought. Oh, I would have laughed if somehow I still snuck by. You ain't going anywhere, asshole. I won't let ya. Oh, okay, you're, you're gonna play that way, huh? Huh! Serves you right. Okay, but now I'm nearly dead again. Cookies. Give me cookies. Oh, oh, wait. It fell down in the pit, didn't it? Damn it. Well, I guess I have to rely on my own skill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, all this shit again. I'm just gonna take my time with this. Like, if I row slowly, I should be fine. Sort of. Oh, get off! Get off! I see something that I want, and I'm gonna get it. Okay, let's get back up. Now I gotta think about how the hell I'm gonna get that up. Wow! He still hit me while I was in the water. You ass. I hope that monkey's not able to shoot me from there. It looks like it's trying. Are you kidding me? I got completely sniped. Well, at least I get to do this with full health. Hold on. 
Okay, I still did get credited for the other Spectre coin. And there were three in the stage. Alright. I don't know if there's an easy way to sneak up on that jerk right there. Should that even be one I go after? When there are other alternatives, like this guy. Oh, that enemy actually stopped me from getting him the first time. Thankfully, the second time worked. That's the first time I lost a life in a while. Wow. And that rowboat segment was not as bad as the previous one. For a change. You did great. Could have done better, but hey, I could have done worse too. Okay, I can take a look at my success rate from here too. 26.1%. That's all? Well, I mean, every stage I gotta go back to anyway. So it's a matter of time. Hot springs? I could go for some hot springs. Six monkeys out of nine and two Spectre coins. Man, once once this pandemic is over and I actually had time, I'd love to go to Iceland. You know, just to take a look at the hot springs and stuff. But I would imagine that wouldn't be cheap. Okay, I see one monkey I can get to immediately. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's admiring the geyser. Although I wonder if any of the water coming from this stage is also very acidic. Because when they talk about Yellowstone National Park, and like it's not only just like hot water and stuff, most of it, the reason why it hurts so much, or is very dangerous, is because of the acidity in the water. And I didn't know that until like months ago. Like I thought it was just like seriously boiling hot. But nope, the acidity is what actually corrodes your flesh. If you were to ever go in there. Which by the way, don't go in there. You won't have a good time. In fact, you won't have time at all. Or oregano. Possibly painful death. You'll have that! <laughs> At least for the few seconds you'll still be around. Oh, hello. Wow, this guy's more armed than the military! Holy shit! And I just got like a, a weak lightsaber. <laughs> That's not even a lightsaber. Well, at least that's monkey number two. Out of six? Yeah, it's out of six. Alright. Also, the first episode of Ape Escape actually went up today. Yeah, that goes to show you, like, what my backlog is like. I need to get, like, back to a healthy level again. And, like, believe it or not, which, well, actually, I'm not surprised. People were really liking it. Because, you know, people have been wanting me to do Ape Escape for a while. Or at least some of the other games in that trilogy. Even though there were, like, other games that came out for it, too. And, well, it was well-received. So, you know what? I'm very happy about that. That'll make it more likely for the other Ape Escapes to be played in the future. Even though I don't have two, but I do have three. There's a bridge made of ice ahead. Get over as quickly as you can, before the ice breaks under your feet. That ice is gonna break? Really? But it looks extra thick. That's what the cool kids say, right? Thick? <laughs> wow. We're just a bunch of losers, aren't we, Frosty, huh? Well, I guess one way to get past it is... Oh, maybe I should have that equipped. Thank you. 
If I do it like this. Oh, pfft. You mean to tell me the very microsecond I land on it, I fall through? I had such a good idea. How dare you, game? You embarrassed me. I had such a good plan. Like, I was just gonna see if I can just... Do the, uh, Sky Glider, or whatever the frick you call it. It has uh, its own name. And see if I can bypass the whole bridge. If it breaks immediately, I might have to use the hoop. It breaks immediately. Like, not even a second. Wait a minute, does that thing give you unlimited cookies? I don't know if it ever runs out. If it doesn't run out, hey, at least I, I got a place to stay alive. You know, if I keep dying in this one area... Well, first of all, I gotta actually die in this area for it to be worth it. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to use the hoop. I don't even know why I put it there. It's still freaked up? Oh my god, are you kidding me? That gave me no chance. None. Also, what's that sixth gadget? Why is there a gap there? Aren't I collecting these in order? But according to this, this is gadget number seven. Where's gadget number six? Or are they trying to keep, like, similar gadgets, like, themed together on the same column? There has to be something that I'm missing out of all this, because I'm moving as fast as I can! Okay, let's put the, uh, the hula hoop on circle. What the? Why even bother? It keeps, like, bringing me up dead solid. Am I supposed to keep jumping with it? Alright, what if I try jumping while spinning and running at the same time? And this is not even thin ice! Look at it! How does that not support my weight? Okay, so that's another way to do it. Somehow I didn't even need any gadget. Just run the very second, or jump the very second you land, and you're on the home stretch. Okay, there we go. That makes up for all the uh, BS from before. Which really is my own fault, for not thinking to just jump immediately. And complicating it more than it really was. But you know what, that's the kind of experience you get when you're playing games like this for the first time. You're gonna make mistakes, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's how you adjust that defines your character. And who knows, that might not have been the only solution. But I found one that worked after multiple failed attempts. Just hope I don't fall and have to do all this again, you know what I mean? That would suck ass. Oh, hold on. Wait, why can't I get up there? Thank you. Okay, it worked. So that's monkey... That's only number four? I thought that would be five. Oh no, don't make me do another one of these. What happens if I fall off? Do I have to like redo like three minutes of the stage? That would not be cool at all. 
Okay, there is a waterfall over there. But I think I am supposed to just go. Nice. Okay. Now that we know how to deal with this, it's a lot easier. Oh, I thought there was something behind there. Is this supposed to be a spa? Yeah, I think that's supposed to be a spa. I mean, I could go over there. I think that's an extra life, but I think I'm better off going this way. Oh, here we go. There's a Rambo monkey. <laughs> Ready to throw down. The only thing he threw was his own freedom away. Oh, look, there's another one. Thought you could get away from me, huh? Oh, wow, you just gave me those hands. How dare you? Bye. Oh, I should have looked around. The respecter coin was right there. Man, I could have grabbed that if I just kept looking around. Ah, well. I didn't get any Spectre Coins in that stage, but at least we know where one is. First to goal wins! For this for a long time. This is just between you and me. Follow me. Alright, Jake, let's go. This time, I will beat you on the first try. Let's go! Okay, so you are given this thing. And that's it. Okay, this first stretch is easy. They're, they're gonna screw with me at the very end, aren't they? Watch. Oh, I could have just kept going right there. That would have been a better idea. Oh, I... Oh, 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 no! Oh, I had it! You... Oh, my God. I choked right at the end. I'm gonna lose, so you know what? Let's just retry it. I'm not even gonna try to see if I can catch up. As soon as I made that one mistake, the one mistake, it was over. Like, if I had the mistake at the beginning of that stretch, on that very narrow walkway, I might have been able to come back. Actually, no, I wouldn't have, because he didn't make that mistake at all. Oh, I was kind of worried that I would actually slide off the edge. Okay, not taking any chances with that BS this time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. Hot stuff coming through. Oh, it's down to the wire. Oh, oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. If our bodies touched any more, this would have been an M rated game. Holy crap. And give me them five coins. I earned them. Because we keep retrying until I win. Oh, look at that. The second minigame's unlocked. Alright, I think it's a good time to save. Wow. <laughs> that, those, that last few minutes was a ride. <laughs> okay, I was at 26 point something percent when I checked the beginning of the previous stage. Alright, now it's 29.7. Man, I don't know how many more stages there are, but the fact I only got under 30%. That tells me there's either a few more stages to go, or I just missed a lot of crap. <laughs> so let's take a look at the next stage. Well, I guess it could be both. 
All right, Medieval Mayhem. All right, so let's stop the video right here, and in the next parts, we're gonna go to Sushi Temple. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.